hello guys welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how we are calling JavaScript uh, functions from an external JavaScript file and I will show you how it works on an uh, inline in an HTML page and uh, how we are doing the same thing uh, from an external JavaScript file so here I have one HTML page uh, that's HTML page one dot HTML and which has some scripts written on it and the same thing has been written in an external file JavaScript 2 dot JS and I have put those things into functions and now we are going to use those things in uh, web form so I would be calling the JavaScript uh, file uh, from the web form and using it and showing you how it works so let's first start with the HTML page that I have here uh, that is HTML page 1 dot HTML and you can see what function uh, what I'm doing here in the script uh, I have taken some variable and uh, put some data into it and um, I'm trying to show the results uh, with a document dot get element by ID. Uh, I'm displaying the details in a, a paragraph, and I have named the paragraph as uh, demo. And uh, so I'm calling the f um, script uh, to match with the paragraph and show the details. So let's just run it and show what's the result here. Um, HTML page one dot HTML. I have put it as the um, start page, and um, build it is fine and start without debugging and now you see so this is my html page one dot html and you can see uh, this is the result um, in the paragraph uh, which uh, comes up with this uh, get element by id and inner html and uh, so this is the output of the code all right so we are going to do the same thing from an uh, external javascript file and i would be calling it from the web page let's see okay let's close it and um, um, web form 4 I would put it as the startup page set as start page and um, I'm using um, a paragraph demo 1 and I would uh, use the same code in a function as you normally know that we have to call functions from javascript files so um, I have put the same code in a function named test and the same uh, variable uh, document dot get element by id dot inner html and everything the same uh, so let's now run this one and uh, see what's the output okay okay now you see it's giving me the same output but we have an undefined message at the end why is this the reason is we are not returning anything we get this undefined error message at the end because we are not returning anything so <coughs> if I go back to the JavaScript file you can see that it's not returning anything you see I'm just executing the function and displaying the data and I'm calling this uh, function from uh, document dot write line so it's simply printing it but as it is not returning anything we have this undefined error now I will show you another thing if we go back to the same JavaScript file there is another function named test array and we have a var uh, variable where I'm uh, putting in some array uh, data uh, so what I'm returning here is a console output uh, so I will it will just also show the result um, <coughs> but that would be in like a console output let's call this function and see what's the result test array okay st test array okay save it same program different function all right see here also it's showing up an undefined but you can all see what's there in the console I will show you here the console output is absolutely fine it's showing up the results that should be in an array it's showing me the zeroth index the first index second index and uh, the output as it should be in an array but we still have this undefined thing here now if I go back to the um, program see how we should be fixing it is instead of using this console thing I would simply print the our array okay 
okay let's run the project and see how it works see it's giving me the same output but there shouldn't be a console thing as we have closed the console so there is nothing in the console but we got our output and undefined is gone now the same thing I would be doing with the function test and you would see that um, we should be able to get the output and uh, <coughs> no undefined error message all right let's call the test method again go back to the javascript change this document dot get element id to simply return space this thing So what we are doing is instead of using this document dot get element ID, I'm simply returning the output that's there in the JSON dot stringify whatever data it has. See now, undefined is gone. So pretty much this we have to understand that any function in JavaScript has to return something. Okay, so if it does not return anything or it returns something um, like a, a console output it would simply come up with that error as undefined error all right guys so that's uh, pretty much it for now i should have some more videos in future keep watching my channel until then have a good day bye bye thanks for watching